Today we will be going over the Supreme Fall Winter 20 lookbook. Like this video and subscribe for more Supreme resale predictions and drop lists. First up we got the Supreme Globe MA1 which I think is really cool and I actually think is probably going to resell for a good amount especially if prices are pretty low on these just because the back logo is absolutely insane in my opinion. The front's pretty boring but I just think the back logo is like really cool. I think a lot of people will buy it just for the back logo especially if prices are like around 200 to 300 I definitely see it could resell for like 500 I feel like it's just a super underrated item and the back logo is absolutely insane. Next up we got the Supreme Cross Box Logo Hooded Sweatshirt. I actually think Supreme did better than they normally do for the box logo on this. I don't think it's like that amazing, it's just a regular box logo. But I've seen a lot of people saying that it's like, I don't know, not that cool. But I definitely think it's like, it's a better design than the normal box logos. Like, are you guys really out here buying the same box logo every year that Supreme drops? I wouldn't, in my opinion, I mean, I'd resell it, but, like, these are impossible to get either way. I think this is just an original design, and Supreme's trying to switch it up. I think a lot of people start eventually being like, wow, this actually isn't that bad. I mean, I don't think it's the most amazing design, but I definitely think it's a better than a lot of these other people say because they're hating on this one, and they're saying it's terrible. But I don't think it's that bad, in my opinion. I definitely think... It's kind of nice for Supreme to actually switch up the design on the box logo once in a while. Next up, we got the reflective speckled down jacket, which I also think is kind of cool. I think price on these should be pretty low, and since they've got some absolutely massive Supreme spellouts, I think prices could be pretty good for resale. I think it is pretty boring as like an item itself, but I think some people will wear it just to wear like this big Supreme logo on it. Like, it's not that flashy as well. Like, I don't think you can really see, like, the Supreme logo from that far. But they are bi super big spell out, so I definitely think people will buy this. Next up, we got this Fox jacket, which I definitely think is pretty cool. And I definitely think there's going to be a lot of other good stuff from this Fox collaboration. I think it's, like, kind of cool for, like, Supreme to collab with, like, a motor racing company every year. And I feel like Fox is, like, one of the better ones. I, I don't, like like the jacket that much i think the black colorway looks a lot better than this one but either way it's a pretty cool jacket and i think it's definitely a cool collaboration for supreme next up we got the supreme toshio psyche work jacket i definitely think it's a really interesting item and i definitely think some people will like it and some people will hate it which means it'll definitely be a super hyped item during the week it drops and i just think it's a really interesting piece I mean, I wouldn't wear it myself. I feel like it's a lot too flashy. But since like a patchwork work jacket, I feel like it's going to have a lot of hype the week it drops. And will definitely sell out quickly and probably resell for a ton of money. So I definitely think this is an item to keep your eye out on for like the actual week it drops. Because it definitely will do a ton for resell. Next up, we got the Supreme Smurf Scortex Shell Jacket. Which I definitely think is a pretty interesting item. I think... I feel like they should have put the Smurfs actually on the sleeves of the jacket. I don't really know how that would look, but I think it would be a little bit better in my opinion. Definitely don't think this is the greatest jacket, just because, I don't know, it just doesn't look the good, that great. And, I mean, I don't like the design that much, but it definitely is a cool jacket either way. Next up, we got the Supreme Hooded Down Jacket. I think this one looks really unique. It's got the Supreme receipts all over it, and it's got a little Supreme spell out on it. I actually like this one a lot. I think if they took out the big Supreme spell out on it, it'd look, I feel like, a little bit better. But either way, it definitely is a really interesting jacket. I definitely think it could do pretty good for resale, but I definitely think it's a good personal either way. Next up, we got the reversible color blocked fleece jacket. I think this one's really nice, and I definitely like the fleece part on this one. I feel like it's an interesting, like, I don't know, kind of flashy, like, just Supreme jacket. But... It also has a reversible side, which I think looks amazing as well. It's just a regular black Supreme jacket. So I definitely think it's like something that you can wear when you want to be flashy, but you also can just wear when, I don't know, you're just trying to go out and, you know, show off some Supreme. Next up, we got the multicolor logo long sleeve top. It's an all-con jersey, and I definitely think it's the best top that's dropping this whole year, maybe. It. It's got a nice rainbow spell out, which looks amazing on the black colorway. And I just think it's a really cool item. And it's actually more unique for Supreme because I don't think they ever, like, 
stitch each of the colors in like a different color. So our, each of the letters in different color, but either way, it's a really nice shirt and I actually like this one a ton. Next up, we got the Ariel Tapestry Harrington jacket. I actually really like the design on this one. It's got a little Supreme plane flying over, flying the Supreme flag. I believe this is an actual photo. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this one. I like this one a lot, and I think they did a really good job on this one. I feel like it's just a little bit different from the usual Supreme like design, and I think it just looks a lot better. Definitely think this one will have some resell. Don't know how much, but definitely should resell for some money. The Supreme Smurfs trucker jacket is pretty nice in my opinion. I definitely like the back logo on it. I don't like the front that much. I feel like it's just pretty boring. It's a standard Supreme trucker jacket, but I would say the back actually does look pretty nice in my opinion. It's just a regular like Supreme like boring design. I think they definitely missed out on this part of the collab but this whole collab is pretty nice in my opinion. I feel like they absolutely killed it on the crew necks. Next up we got the Supreme Smurf sweater which I actually love a lot. I like this black color where you got the you know the little Smurf kind of mad but I just it just looks really good in my opinion and it I don't know. I, I really like this one. The white one also looks really nice. You got the Supreme Happy on this one. And I just feel like they absolutely killed it with these sweaters. They just look really good. And I think they, they'll definitely reduce a lot for resale. Just because they look amazing. Next up we got the Pharrell Williams tee. Which I definitely think looks pretty cool. It's got you know Pharrell Williams on there. And I just think this will do good just because it's a regular photo tee. Like photo tees always do well. I think it's just, I don't know, probably the best looking tee out of all of them. It's not a unique design, but it's just a box logo. It's like, you, it's a photo tee, so it'll do really well. Next up, we got the Supreme Tire Tee, which may be the ugliest t-shirt Supreme has ever released. It, it It's also literally the most boring design I think I've ever seen on a t-shirt. If you wear this, I will, it, I don't know, just don't buy it. This is so ugly. There's no way this will resell us. It's super limited stock. It's so ugly. Next up, we got the Supreme Nueva York Stati Uniti. I don't know. I don't know what it says, but it's it's pretty boring tea in my opinion. I don't think it'll do that good. Just a regular Supreme one where they put it in a different language. I believe this is Italian. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think it'll do that well. It's just a boring old shirt. Next up, we got the Supreme Stay Positive tee i don't hate this one i think it looks fine but i just it's really boring in my opinion and i don't think i'll have any resell except maybe in this camo colorway because these are usually super limited next up we got the supreme balloons tee i think this one looks pretty cool i think it's just a regular supreme like spell out t-shirt they, they always do one of these and i think this one is probably i don't know it's just it's probably gonna do pretty good for resell but i don't think it'll do that amazing Either way, there are a lot better shirts to go for if you're going for a multi-cart. Next up, we got the Supreme Jet Tee. This is 100% the best tee out of the whole drop. This one just looks really nice in my opinion. And I feel like it'll definitely do pretty good for you. So I, I think around 80 bucks to start off. But I definitely think it'll do really good as time goes on. It'll just rise up a lot. I feel like it kind of looks like the Ghost Rider -like style of design at least for the shirt, but I think it looks really cool. It'll definitely do really good for resale as well. Next up, we got the Supreme Verify Tee. Supreme is just trolling us with this one, but I feel like it's really funny. So I definitely think this, this one will do good just because it's a Supreme troll. And it might be only available online because that that also be kind of funny. But either way, this definitely should do pretty good for resale. And it, it'll also just be a troll by Supreme, so it'll be funny either way. Next up, we got the Supreme Futura tee, which I just think is really boring. It's just a regular Supreme script tee. Unlike the balloons one, I feel like they didn't do well with this. And it's just, I don't know. I wouldn't buy it myself, but I definitely could see people buying it as just like a regular Supreme shirt. Either way, it shouldn't do that good for resale, but it definitely could sell for like 60 bucks. Next up, we got the Supreme Lovers tee. I think this one looks pretty cool. I, I would say like it's probably like a middle pack out of all the tees but I definitely think this one looks like not that bad I wish they would remove the text on the right side of like the cupid low or er, design but I just feel like it's it's a pretty good tee and it definitely should resell next up we got the supreme 
multi logo T. This is so stupid. I don't know why they'd make this. It's just slapping a bunch of logos on this shirt and just leaving it there and just laying it die. I don't know. I I don't like this at all and I don't think it'll resell. It's just super boring and it's super ugly. It's way too flashy in my opinion, so I would never wear it. All right, first up, we got the Supreme Jacob & Co. watch. I like this one a ton. I feel like it's really interesting that Supreme did this. I feel like it would be a little bit better if they did it with a Rolex, but these are going to be a lot cheaper, and these definitely should resell. So I would 100% suggest going for these. Next up, we got the Supreme Mortal Kombat arcade game. This is such a nice piece, but you'll never see this. This will be backdoored, and you'll never see this item ever. So don't say, don't you... Don't think about getting this one unless you can pay $10,000 plus. Either way, it's a really heat item and it's really interesting that Supreme did this collab. Next up, we got this little Supreme like sofa, little seat. I don't really know what it is, but either way, it's kind of cool. And I think a lot of people want this just to have in like their room or like somewhere else and just have it as an accessory. Definitely, this should do pretty good. Next up, we got the Supreme Fishbowl. It's another troll item from Supreme and I... <laughs> This one's really nice in my opinion. I think it's a really funny thing to have if you got like a goldfish in a Supreme fishbowl. Just another like hype beast thing to do. Next up we got the Supreme Colgate toothpaste. This will definitely do really well especially if you can cop in like super bulk like 10 plus of these. Either way this is a really interesting item. I definitely think it's pretty cool that Supreme collabed with Colgate which is a massive company. Next up we got the Supreme Chucky doll which definitely should do really good. I would expect it to do pretty similar to the Supreme Bear which did absolutely amazing for resale. I definitely think it's a really cool item to just have as a collectible. Next up we got the Supreme Spalding Basketball which was supposed to drop last year. It's got a bunch of George Washingtons on it and it didn't drop last year and it might. it's supposed to be dropping this year but I don't know if it actually will. Either way it's a really cool item it'll definitely resell for a ton of money. Next up, we got the Supreme Bicycle bicycle Clear Playing Cards. These are really nice in my opinion. I definitely think it's a cool collectible to just have around the house. Maybe when you're playing some poker or something. I don't know. It's a cool item and it definitely should resell for some money as well. The Supreme Swarovski Zippo Lighter should definitely do pretty good. It probably will have a super expensive retail price. So I would actually probably stay away from it. It might be like a hundred plus dollars and only resell for like 200 so i would stay away from it either way it's a pretty cool item next up we got the supreme aerial landscape skateboard i actually love this one i'm definitely gonna be copying for the personal it just looks really cool and it's just a regular supreme skateboard so it should do pretty good on the resale market as well next up we got the supreme camo skateboard and i actually like this one as well i'm probably gonna go for the pink colorway but all these colorways look really nice I like the pink and the blue best though. They're definitely the best looking colorways in my opinion. But either way, it's definitely a good item and I'll definitely cop for the personal. Next up, we got the Supreme Jet deck and I like this one as well. I'm 100% copying this one for the personal. Probably the black or the red one just because the jet looks a lot better on these ones than the blue one. Either way, it's definitely a good item and it'll definitely sell for a ton of money as well. Next up, we got the Supreme Balloons deck. I think this one looks pretty cool. It's not like the most amazing deck in my opinion, but definitely it looks cool and it definitely should have at least some resale value. Last up, we got the Supreme Pill Skateboard. I think this one looks pretty cool and just like a regular Supreme deck. I don't know, it's pretty nice. Either way, this Supreme Lookbook was pretty cool. We had a ton of good items. Either way, look, find all the rest of the items on Supreme's website. You can see everything and even more than I discussed in this video. All right, if you wanna join a really good Discord for free, there's a link in the description to my Discord. In my Discord, we got monitors, we got slots, we basically got everything, and I think it's just a really good community to join, and especially because it's free. Like with anything, anything that's free, you can just get it, or you could leave. So with something that's free and provides actual value, you kinda of have to join it. So also, you can leave whenever you want. So if you don't like it, you don't like the notifications anymore, you can just leave. But since it's something that's free, it's not like you wasted anything on it. So join the group. There's a link in the description. There's a lot of information in there. We got basically everything in there. Anything you could want sneaker wise, it's in there. And we got monitors. We got everything you'd want. If you're a sneaker reseller, if, if you're just any kind of reseller, we got monitors, we got slots, we got a marketplace. We got tickets, we got everything, anything you can want, we got it.